to me and to you and to the entire world. So that's why we celebrate him. Praise the Lord. It's not by power. It's not by, it's not by mind. By my spirit says this mountain must be removed when Jesus came. This mountain must be removed when Jesus came. This mountain must be Spirit of God. I want to pray for you. You have been very sick of typhoid, fever, malaria, parasite, wherever you are, receive your healing in Jesus' name. I want to pray for you. You have been dreaming bad, bad dream, eating in the night. Receive deliverance in Jesus' name. I want to pray for you that have for having forgetfulness and sometimes you have crisis whenever an exam is coming, you have confusion and fear. Receive deliverance in Jesus' name. And you that have been terribly tormented by evil spirits, they do not allow you to enjoy your life and to do what others are doing. Wherever you are now, receive deliverance. <laughs> Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, deliver that youth. I'm waiting for you to deliver her. Rakaka huskitena, jeluvika huka. Wherever she may be now, that youth have been tormented by evil spirit. That spirit tormenting you, that marine spirit catch fire, catch fire. Catch fire. Holy Ghost, bring that person out. Deliver her. Deliver her. Lose her. Wherever she is tied. Wherever she is initiated. Let that power break now. Break now. Break now. Kahus kataya. Rakataya maruskitena. Lord, I send fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Oh, Charles. Whatever that lady may be tormented by marine spirit. Look for that lady, that child, that young you. I command you loose, loose, loose. Fire. Fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Scavacata, maskata. 
Ruvi kataya, skatara maruski tena. Let the kingdom catch fire, catch fire. Spirit husband. Oh yeah, pack. We kill you. That person down there, tormented by spirit husband. I command that spirit to lose your grip on her now. Come out quickly. Come out. Spirit husband. Spirit husband. Or oh, just watch out. I'm talking about somebody right down there. Stubborn split husband tormenting you. Tormenting you. Tormenting you. I torment that spirit by fire. Fire. Savannah Scaviana Ruskitena. Unclean spirit. Marine spirit. Spirit husband. Catch fire. Queen. 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 Uh, die. Scava, cava, cava, zuva, rava, cava, cava, zelufia, maruskitena. I send fire, fire. Queen of coals, queen of heaven, queen of coals. Oh yeah, pack your load. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Or oh, just watch out down there. That demon that came for assignment. Salavaka. Ka kahuka 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 fire fire thunder fire thunder fire fire holy ghost fire holy ghost fire holy ghost fire holy ghost fire yes there are many there are many there are many you snake you python you antichrist spirit you occult spirit your ancestral spirit, your spirit wife, catch fire. That young boy, catch like that, that witch spirit, catch fire, catch fire, come out, come out. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Witch cross spirit, marine spirit, spirit of occultism, queen of coals. Familiar spirit, seducing spirit, unclean spirit, spirit of backwardness, catch fire, come out, Holy Ghost fire. There are many, there are many, all of you that are tied by that spirit, and you can make progress in your academics. And you are just every time, you know, struggling and struggling. And you can't understand. In the name of Jesus, I lose you. Lose. Holy Ghost, bring them out. Bring them out. I lose you. I lose you. I lose you from the power of marine kingdom. Of earth kingdom. Witchcraft kingdom. Witchcraft kingdom. I lose you. Lose. 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 Young man, I lose you. Lose. I lose you from marine spirits, which grasp spirit of backwardness, spirit of untimely death, spirit of death, catch fire. Come out. Come out. I lose you. I command deliverance. There are many of them, many. Today, you must be delivered. Something great is going on. Deliverance is going on. Chains of deliverance. Anywhere they put your image, anywhere they initiated in the school, anywhere they took your picture to, I lose you, I set you free. I lose you, I set you free. Anywhere they tie your future, I lose you. Whatever they submit the names of your family, I lose you. Be free. Seluva kataya, rakazin de li comprena, fire.
spirit of free mercy. You serpentine spirit. You antichrist spirit. Cash fire. Kingdom come by power, by power. Kingdom, kingdom come by power, by power. 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 Kingdom come by power, by fire. Kingdom come by power, by power. Kingdom, kingdom come by power, by power. Sing it, sing it. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, fire. Be slain, be slain, be slain by fire, by thunder, by fire. Be slain, be slain, be slain. Be slain by the Rukataya, Rukataya, Leka Fanus and Donica pray. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost thunder, Holy Ghost fire. Queen, Queen, catch fire. It is your turn to be free. In Jesus' name, we oh pray. Now you queen of curse, you serpentine spirit, you python spirit, you spirit of free mercy illuminate, cash fire, holy ghost fire, holy ghost fire. I paralyze your action. I set you ablaze. I send thunder on the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, oh yeah, Holy Ghost, deliver them, deliver them. Holy Ghost, deliver them. I'm waiting for you. Deliver her. Deliver them. One by one. Deliver them. Every crown, every power, every evil in their body, remove it. Ra ka ka seluva ka sin jeni compre. Ro va ka sin deni compre secundo. Holy Ghost fire. 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 Any kingdom you belong to, in the name of Jesus, I destroy that kingdom. Marine kingdom, in the name of Jesus, I destroy you. Which kingdom, in the name of Jesus, I destroy you. Family, in the name of Jesus, I destroy you. Holy Ghost thunder, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost thunder, Holy Ghost fire, 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 fire. I paralyze your action. I paralyze your power. I paralyze your kingdom. I blind your kingdom. I blind your eyes. I paralyze the command. Fire, fire, Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Oh, just watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Many of them came for assignments, but today they must leave the leave your body. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bind the principalities, I bind the witchcrafts, I bind the antichrist, I bind the familiar spirit, I bind the queen of course, I bind the queen of heaven, I bind the marine spirit, I bind the familiar spirit. I change the father's mind, I cast the beast in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost fire. 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 Holy Ghost 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 fire.
He delivered Paul and Silas. He delivered Paul and Silas. Our God will deliver Paul and Silas. He will surely. Hallelujah. Oh. Precious Father, I take authority in heaven. I bind all principalities and powers. I bind the Queen of Heaven, Queen of Coast, Queen of Queen, Queen of Black Sea, demon from Indian Ocean, Atlantic Ocean. I bind them, I change the demon from all the nations of the world. I bind you, I bind the power, I cast abyss in Jesus' name. Spirit husband, spirit wife, unclean spirit, marine spirit, witchcraft spirit, spirit of backwardness, spirit of death, python demon, snake spirit. I bind you, I chain you, I cast the beast in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, I go. As I count several, I command all the falling angels, contrary spirits, evil spirits, to pack all their load and come out of their body and enter the bottomless pit. I do not permit them to enter your body anymore. I cover everybody with the blood of Jesus. I do not permit them to enter any human being. Wherever you are, I make this environment uncomfortable for you. I charge the hopeless with Holy Ghost fire, with the blood of Jesus. I charge the hopeless with the blood of Jesus. As I count seven, back your low, go and come back no more. What? But unless speed. But unless speed. To go. Three, four, five, go, six, seven, out, 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 out. But on let's beat, but on let's beat. I bind the cast out. 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 Bind the cast out. <laughs> enter bottomless. We enter fire. Enter fire. Enter fire. Enter ocean. Remain bound. Enter bottomless. We out. 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 Familiar spirit, I bind you. Unclean spirit, I bind you. Witchcraft spirit, I bind you. Marine spirit, I bind you. Unclean spirit, I bind you. Spirit of what I bind you. I cast a beast in Jesus' name. Fire! Fire! I paralyze all the kingdom of darkness. I paralyze their power. I command deliverance and freedom for every one of you in Jesus' name. And the name of Jesus. And the name of Jesus. And the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every, every contrary spirit. I charge you in the name of Jesus. Pack your load. Come out and enter, but only speak in Jesus' name. 
And I pray for you that be the waiting I can't solicit. That person having pains in your chest, I had the reason I cancel the pain, be healed in Jesus' name. And I pray and command that terrible thing moving in your body, catch fire, come out and vanish away in Jesus' name. And I pray for you. Wherever they have taken your memory to, I command to be restored in Jesus' name. Fire. Whatever they projected in your leg, I command fire to consume it. Fire. Let that leg poison be healed in Jesus' name. Case of SS. I cancel it, it turned to AA. AS be turned to AA. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. And I pray for you. Everything projected in that your breathing problem, I command to be removed. Begin to breathe normal. I command your blood level to fill up in Jesus' name. My daddy, he the sick, deliver the prayers, fight their battle, minister to their need. I pray that transform them and make them Lord through children of God in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. That split of hatred and backwardness, I bind you, I cast the beast in Jesus' name. That split of fear and untimely death, I bind you, I cast the beast in Jesus' name. And that split of curse upon your family, I break the curse in your life, and over your family be free in Jesus' name. Precious Father. Deliver your people. Bless the chosen youth. Transform their life. Whatever they projected the stomach of that person, let that thing be uprooted, be healed in Jesus' name. Asthmatic cough, I cancel you. Tuberculosis, I cancel you. Coughing out blood, I cancel you. Be healed in Jesus' name. My daddy, I pray as I speak, as I teach your word, take over from my leaves. Take over my leaves and teach your people and bless your people. I pray, let there be mighty overflow of impartation by your power in Jesus' name. Bless everyone. And make every chosen youth, every successful youth, to your glory in Jesus' name. Thank you very, very much. I ask the Holy Ghost to take over. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Shall we get seated? Shall we get seated? Turn your Bible. Do you have Bible? Let me see your Bible. Oh yes, that's that is it. Praise the Lord. Now bring it down. Open to G Genesis chapter forty-nine. Genesis chapter forty-nine. I read from verse twenty-two. Look at your Bible. Genesis chapter 49. Look at it. Reading from verse 22. And I read 49 22. Genesis. Chapter 49, from verse 22. Joseph 
is a fruitful bulb. Even a fruitful bulb by a well whose branches run over the way, over the wall. Look at this. Whose branches run over the wall. The archers have surely grieved him and shot him and shot at him and hated him. But his bow abode in strength, and the arms of his hands are made strong by the hand of the mighty God of Jacob. From thence is the shepherd and the stone of the stone of Israel. Even by the mighty God of thy father. Who shall help thee, and by the Almighty, who shall bless thee with blessings of heaven above, and blessings of the deep that lieth under, blessings of the breast and of the womb, the blessings of thy father have prevailed above the blessings of my progenitors unto the uttermost. Bound on everlasting heaps, they shall be on the head of Joseph, and on the crown of the head of him that was separated from his brethren. In First Samuel chapter sixteen, please open your Bible. First Samuel chapter sixteen. I read from verse 11, chapter 16, and from verse 11, 1 Samuel. It reads, And Samuel said unto Jesus, Please look at that place. And Samuel said unto Jesus, I hear all thy children. And he said, There remaineth yet the youngest. And behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he come hither. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy, and with all of a beautiful countenance, and goodly to look to. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel rose up. And went to Rema. In Isaiah chapter 61, Isaiah chapter 61, I read from verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord had anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the broken hearted. To proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all that mourn, that appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that they might be glorified. And they shall build the old west. They shall raise up the former desolation, and they shall repair the west cities, the desolation of many generations. And look at this place. In 
2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 5. Please open your Bible. Please open your Bible. 2 Corinthians chapter 3. I read verse 5. Look at it. And it reads, Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God. Our sufficiency is of God. And so from these uh, chapters and verses, I'm bringing to you the theme, the resourceful youth, part one. The resourceful youth, part one. You need to pay attention. Because the entrance of this world gives it life. You need to pay attention so that you will go home as a resourceful, resourceful youth indeed in Jesus' name. Every youth should know that much is expected of you in the family. Much is expected of you in the country and in fact in the society at large. Much is expected of you. And the future of every family and every country lies so much on youth. Do you hear me? And that is you. I want to let you know the future of your family and our country lies so much in you. And I want to take note. Father, the mother are training their ch children, their youth, to take over from them. Am I right? I say they are training their children, their youth, to take over from them, mother and father. That's what they do in training their children. Because after them, their children will do what? I'm not hearing you. Their children will take over. Therefore, they spend time, resources to train their children. So they will take over and be a glory to their family and to their generation. I want to take notes. Likewise, the nation spends so much to train their youth. No nation takes the youth lightly. No nation that mismanages the youth and think to have a better nation. Nobody plays with the future of the youth. No parent, no nation plays with the future of the youth as that will amount playing with the future of your family or the future of the nation. Playing with the youth means playing with the future of one's family and even the nation. No wonder we are counseled in the Holy Scriptures to train our children or youth. If you look at the Bible in Proverbs 22, verse 6, look at the Bible, Proverbs chapter 22. Verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. So, the youth, the children, need training. In order for them to have a better future, and for us to have a better future of our family and our society, and even our dear church, we need to train our youth. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, 2 Timothy, look at your Bible, 2 Timothy chapter 2, I read from verse 1, chapter 2, verse 1, Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus, and the things that thou hast heard of me 
among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Here was Paul the Apostle talking to the young and youthful Timothy of the grace of God that he has received already that Paul has ministered to him. And so he told him to be mindful of that grace which is going to impact on others. If you look at verse 15, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, it says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the world of world of rightly dividing the world of truth. Praise the Lord. So I want to let you know here Paul the apostle took time to educate the young Timothy because of the future of his ministry, the furtherance of the gospel. And so he taught him and also counseled him to teach others. He taught him and equipped him to become a resource to help others. And I want to let you know, if you must be a blessing to others, you must know the Lord. You must be trained. You must have something imparted on you. That's why we are in this program. And I am very sure that at the end of this program, every one of which shall become a resourceful youth in Jesus' name. In fact, you shall be a resource to our generation. To the future of this ministry, you shall be a blessing to all in Jesus' name. So, I want to let you know, no one or youth can be resourceful in isolation from God. You can be a resourceful youth. If you ignore God, if you isolate God, if you live your life from the isolation from God, you cannot be a resourceful youth. And so, whoever that wants to be a, a resource is, a resourceful youth, that person must be, have something to do with God. That person must know the Lord, be a child of God, and be in the Lord. And it is then that person can be a resource. So, I want to let you know, nobody can isolate God, seeing that God is the source of resourceful youth. Think about Joseph. Praise the Lord. And every other youth that has ever made mark in the history of life, it was by the hand of God Almighty. Why? If you look at this place in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 5, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 5, please look at your Bible. Let's read. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 5. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of who? I'm not hearing you, please. Our sufficiency is of who? If then our sufficiency is of God, we must never isolate God. We must make sure that our life revolves within God. We must make sure that we partnership with God. We become true children of God. Because our sufficiency is of God. And no one is sufficient to himself. And if you are going to be somebody that is going to be successful, if you are going to be a resource, I want to let you know, you must have God. You must be a child of God. The Bible does not understand in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. Let's read Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. Please look at your Bible. Chapter 1 and verse 3. And it says, and I read Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Who has blessed us? Answer me now. God has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in Christ 
Jesus. And if that be the case, then I want to let you know, we cannot do without who? I'm not hearing you. We cannot be a resource without who? And Sami. Therefore, we need him at all times to become a resourceful youth. And I'm assuring you after this program, every one of you shall be a blessing to others. To our society, to our future, to our family, in Jesus' name. As we have something to do with this great God, the Bible says, we shall know the truth, and the truth shall make us free. If see you in this program, the truth shall be your portion. And you shall go home a blessed person, and one that will go on to do exploit in Jesus' name. In this message, we shall consider the following subheadings. One, reasons. Becoming a, resource, a resourceful youth, an example. Two, our expected response and the benefit. Let's go to point one, reasons. Becoming a resourceful youth, an example. Many youths who do not know the need for being resourceful, will end up in nothing in life as they will not make any effort to become one of such youth. Most of the people that are ignorant of how one can become resourceful, that person will live his life in, in vanity in pursuing shadows. Such person will live his life by thinking or doing everything by his own effort and he will not succeed. Because this life, I want to let you know, our sufficiency is of God. So, anyone, any youth that do not know the need of being a resourceful youth will end up in nothing. As that will not make, such youth will not make any effort, as I've told you, to become a resourceful youth. In Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, he said, Hosea chapter 4, let's read verse 6. He said something there. And we need to learn from the scriptures. In Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, he said, My people, are destroyed for lack of knowledge. If you do not have understanding of the need to become a resourceful youth, you cannot make effort to become a resourceful youth. And that person will live his life contrary to the will of God and be destroyed. That person will never make any effort to become one. And I want to let you know and many abound today, many people, many youths. Instead of being resourceful, they are a reproach and a shame to their family and even in the society at large. As such youths will follow after vanity, because they neglect what matters. They do not think about their future and how they can become a blessing and a resources to others. And therefore, they live their life anyhow. In fact, many of such youths do not have much to do with God. They live a life in sin, in fornication, in adultery, 
They live their life in stealing, in campus court. They live their life anyhow. Many of such youths, they live their life contrary to the will of God, smoking and drunkenness and womanizing and fighting and quarreling. They will never give time to God Almighty, nor even be serious about their future. They just go around playing and talking and dancing and drinking and smoking and they humanizing and they end up in nothing. They live their life in vanity. They live their life thinking about pleasure, enjoyment. And that is the case of so many youth in the society. They do not take time to think about their future and how they can become a blessing to their future, a blessing to their family, a blessing to the society. They are rather smoking in their hem. They are rather joining courts, fighting and quarreling, doing all sorts of wickedness. Are you like that? I want to let you know if you are like that, living your life in vanity, it will end up in nothing. Your life being nothing. Look at, let, look at your Bible. Let, let's see something here. In 2 Kings chapter 17, verse 15. 2 Kings chapter 17. Look at your Bible. 2 Kings chapter 17 and verse 15. And I read... 17, verse 15. And they rejected the statutes and his covenant and made a, and his covenant that he made with their fathers and his testimony which he testified against them. And they followed what? Please, they followed what? And what happened? And they became vain and went after the heathen around about them, concerning whom the Lord had charged them that they should not do like them. This set of people, they will lead their life in isolation from God, and they go on to smoke and drink and they fight and quarry and humanize. And they go on to live their life after pleasure. Like the people of the world. They live their life in vanity and become what? Vain. They become nothing. Because they isolated God. And did things contrary to the will of God. They end up in nothing. And so... You don't expect such youth to answer resourceful youth. If you look at their Bible, in John chapter 15, verse 5. John chapter 15, verse 5. Look at their Bible. 15 and verse 5. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abided in me, and I him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. So, no one can become a resourceful youth in isolation from God Almighty. No one can become a blessing to the society in isolation from God who created us. And so, without him, we can do nothing. So, for a youth, to become a resourceful youth, such youth must know the Lord. If you look at the Bible in Daniel chapter 11, verse 32, Daniel chapter 11, verse 32, look at the Bible. He must know the Lord in spirit and in truth. In Daniel chapter 11, reading verse 32, it says, and I read, Daniel chapter 11, verse 32, and such as do wickedly against the covenant. 
shall he corrupt by flatteries. But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploit. Those that know the Lord, know God, they shall be strong. And such youth can know the Lord and hold him and they live their life according to his will and live their life by his strength and by his power. Those youth shall be strong and do what? Do exploit. The youth that shall know the Lord, be in the Lord, and the Lord be in them, those youth shall be fruitful. They shall be resourceful youth. If you look at the Bible in John chapter 15 again, from verse 4, John chapter 15 verse 4, please look at the Bible. John 15 and verse 4. And it reads, chapter 15, verse 4, Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abided in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. If you want to be a resourceful youth, a resourceful youth, I'm assuring you, you must know the Lord, be in the Lord, and the Lord be in you. I'm assuring you, you shall blossom. You shall be a blessing. Honestly, spiritually and otherwise, you shall be a blessing to a generation. Can I hear you say amen to that? So, take note, if you, you have come to this program to become indeed a resourceful youth, don't joke with this message. Don't joke with everything you are hearing in this very program or things you are going to hear. If you look at, we have been told to train up listening because of the fact that we must know the Lord being the Lord and become a resourceful youth. Then, no wonder we are counseled to train up a child in the way that he should go. And I want to let you know, training a child the way he should go is training a child in the way of the Lord, in fear of the Lord, so that when the child grows, he will not depart from God, seeing that those that do know their God shall be strong and do as well. Therefore, we should train up the child to know the Lord and in the way of the Lord. Praise the Lord. That is the reason for that counseling. As I see in the book of Proverbs 22, verse 6. Seeing that no one is sufficient to himself or herself, and our sufficiency is of God, then we must make sure we know the Lord, and we be in the Lord, and then we shall have all that it takes through the Lord to be a resourceful youth. I want to show you something. In 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 16. 2 Corinthians chapter 2. And verse 16. Look at the Bible. 2 Corinthians. I believe you are reading your Bible. Are you absent minded? Look at chapter 2, verse 16. To the one we are the same several of day unto death and to the other the savor of life unto life but who is sufficient for these things that's the question who is sufficient for these things I want to let you know my brothers and sisters no one is sufficient of these things if you look at chapter 3 verse 5 the answer came and it said not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of who? God. 
God is our sufficiency. If you want to, you know, be a blessing, a resource to others, then it must be that you have God. It must be a true child of God. It must be that you are abiding child of God. You must be one that is rooted or deep rooted in the Lord. If you can be sufficient unto these things and sufficient unto yourself, it must be that you are deep rooted in the Lord and you are sufficient that you have become a kind of sufficiency to yourself to the point that you can become a resource and bless, a blessing to others. You must be deep rooted in the Lord. Praise the Lord. So every youth or anyone who wishes to be resourceful to others, to his or her generation, must be in the Lord. As I've showed you before in John chapter 15, verse 4 and 5. Now, in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 21, let's see. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 21. Look at the Bible. And it says, 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 21. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 21. Therefore, let no man glory in man, for all things are yours. How many things? All things means from A to Z. And it says, let no man glory in man. What happened? All things are yours. How many things? Spiritually and otherwise. Now, why? Why? Why is it that all things are yours? Let's see verse 22. Whether Paul, Apollos, or Cephas, or the world, or life, or death, or things present, or things to come, all are, I'm not hearing you again, all are yours. Everything belongs to you. Now, why? Look at verse 23. And ye are Christ, ye belong to Christ, and uh, look at it. And Christ belongs to who? God. You are in Christ, Christ is in God, and as long as your root is in Christ and Christ in God, you have how many things? I am not hearing you. All things. And when you have all things, because you are deep rooted in Christ and Christ in God, what can we call you? I, I'm not, I'm not. I perceive that what they wanted me to do here is receive miracle, receive healing and deliverance. And you, that's, I think that's what you want me to do. Now, but you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. And those that do know their God, that shall be strong and they shall do exploit. Now, I want to ask you again, when you are in Christ, rooted in Christ, Christ in God, how many things do you have? Then, at that point, what do we call you? A resourceful youth. Praise the Lord. And I am very sure you have the result now. I said, if it is mathematics, you have the result. You are what? Answer me now. So I'm assuring you, you will never live here the same. Because as you know the truth, what happened? Yes, and those that do know their God, what happened to them? After this program, all your people, the people, your contemporary, we are and they are, we never see you back again. Because you will stand and declare, and it shall come to pass. You will speak, and heaven will uphold it. And you will speak with authority, with the knowledge. 
and you will act with knowledge. And those that have known you before will ask you, where did you go? Because your face is shining. Praise the Lord. Brethren, I want to let you know that when you have understanding, when you have wisdom, when you have knowledge of what you are, what belongs to you, my friend, you are going to make use of it. Am I right? Am I showing you you are a resourceful youth? And I want to see it in practical. Can I hear you say amen? If you look at Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, no wonder Apostle Paul says something. Having this deep rooted in Christ and Christ in God, he says something that we need to look at. Chapter 4, verse 13. Philippians chapter 4. I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. He see you. After this program, you shall do exploit. After this program, when you sit on the exam, people will wonder whether you are the one that said the exam. Because your strength is coming from heaven, from God, from Jesus, you can say, you can do all things. Not only doing all things, my friend, please. Praise the Lord. Now listen to me. You see, when you have become a resource, you become a blessing to everybody. Whoever that comes your way, I remember some years back, I sat on exam. Let me tell you how to be a resource, please. But don't follow that example I'm going to give you now because, uh, you know, I sat on the exam and then I started writing, writing, writing. In the next 10, 20 minutes, I already finished writing. I wanted to go out. My teacher said, please teach others. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. That was then. There at the Methodist School, a Mofluku. As some of you know the place. Now listen to me. I, I, I gave them, I, I gave them my papa, and they, everybody began to write from my papa. At the end, everybody get A's and the excellent and praise. Amen. I want to make you know. Amen. Praise the Lord. I became a resource unto the people, a blessing to the people. My friend, that was what I was to the people in the school. A blessing to others. I see you after this program. You look at the exam, you say, is this one for me or for, K or for KG? You ask them whether this one is for KG or for you. Because that is how I saw that exam. This one, is it for me? I just want to try, finish it, I say, I'm going out. They say, sit down, sit down, sit down. Help others. It see you after this program. You will teach your lecturers. You will teach your teachers. Do you believe it's possible? I am very, very sure. Now, if you look at Philippians chapter four, verse nineteen. He said, but my God shall supply all your needs 
according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. My friend, when you have the Spirit of God inside you, you can say to people, my God shall supply. And it will come to pass. Praise the Lord. Let me ask you this question. You know, I have been telling people everywhere, all over the world, in Australia, in China, in America, in Canada, in Britain, in South Africa, all over the world, I've been telling them, praise the Lord. As I travel through the world, I have been telling them, my God has supplied. My God has supplied all you need. My God has supplied. He see you. Praise the Lord. If you be a true child of God, abiding in him and he in you, living your life according to his will. Honestly, God shall be made manifest through your life. His blessings shall be made manifest through your life. You shall become a resource to all in Jesus' name. Now look at it. In John chapter 10 verse 10b, Jesus said, I came that they might have life, and then I'm, that they might have it more abundantly. My friend, I'm assuring you, when you give your life to Christ, I'm assuring you, he will give you eternal life, abundance of life, and you shall have fullness of life. In Romans chapter 8, verse 31, Romans chapter 8, verse 31, Look at your Bible. Romans chapter 8 and verse 31. And I read. And what shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Sisters and brothers, you that are here, if God be for you, who can be against you? What can be against you? Well, tell me what you are going to lack. Look at verse 32. Verse 32. Verse 32. And he that spared not his own son, but deliver him up for us all. How would I he not with him also freely give us how many things? He see you. With God, with Jesus in your life, God shall give you all things. From A to Z, you shall become a resourceful. Who is that person? Where are the resourceful you today? You are the one. You are the one. You are the one. Look at Colossians chapter 2. Verse 10, Colossians chapter 2. Listen to me. Honestly, in this program, many resourceful youth shall be made. Are you hearing me? Outside Christ, you are nothing. But with him, honestly, you become a great person. Colossians chapter 2, I read verse 10. I want to show you something there. Chapter 2, verse 10, Colossians. What he said, and ye are complete in him. In who? And ye are complete in him. Which means if you are not in Christ, you are not a complete human being. When you are in Christ, he said, You are complete in him. And who is he? Who is he? It says, it says, the which is the head of what? Of principalities and powers. If you are in Christ, you are complete in Him. And the one that is inside you, and the one that makes you to become complete, is the head of what? Principalities and powers. 
My friend, you shall operate in dominion. If you believe it, say amen. Do you know that when we are in Christ, we shall increase with increase of God? Look at verse 19. And not holding the head, some people, but not me and you. And not holding the head from which all the body by joints and bands have on nourishment minister and night together increase it with the increase of God. When we are in him, we shall increase with increase of what? Increase of God. In see you, I urge you to remain in him. You shall increase with the increase of God. You shall become a resource in Jesus' name. No wonder some others and youth of old were resourceful to their generation, family, and example about. Are there youth like that before? Joseph was one of them. I showed you, the Bible said it was a fruitful buff. Praise the Lord. What we talk about David, he was one of them. He was a resourceful youth. In his days, he obtained victory for his people. In his days, he was a blessing to the, to the whole society. I'm talking about who? I'm not hearing you again. What about the, in the New Testament? We have Jesus. Was he a blessing to his generation? What about Paul the Apostle? Was he a bless? Was he a resource? Was he a successful youth? A successful man? I'm asking about Paul the Apostle. What about Jesus? They became a resource. Look at Second Second Corinthians chapter six verse nine. Second Corinthians chapter six verse nine. Look at your Bible. Second Corinthians chapter six and verse nine. And I read. As unknown and well known, and yet well known. As dying, and behold, we live. As sustained and not killed. As sorrowful, yet always rejoicing. As poor, yet making many rich. As having nothing, yet possessing all things. People were looking at him as, you know, poor. But he said he was going about doing what? I'm not hearing you again. Making many rich. He see you. You will make many rich in your generation. When they see Paul as having not, he said, yet possessing all things. Praise the Lord. No wonder he said, I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. And but my God shall supply all your needs. I call it to riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. Because of our time, let me rush this place. Second point, our special response and the benefit. Every youth who wishes to be resourceful to others, to family and nature must know and thought of the Lord. Remember, those that do know their God, what happened to them? They shall be strong and do as well. Such youth must know the Lord. If you look at Isaiah chapter 54, please, let's read I'll be very, very fast. Isaiah chapter 54. Please open your Bible. Isaiah 54. And verse, verse 13. Look at it. And, thy, and all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and grace shall be the peace of thy children. In righteousness shall thou be established, and thou shall be far from oppression. For thou shalt not fear and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. He said, Our children shall be taught of who? The Lord. And great shall be the peace of our children. He see you. As you are being taught, as this impartation is going on today, tomorrow, you shall be great. And peace, great peace shall be your portion. And no evil shall be for you in Jesus' name. You shall be established. I say you shall be established. Like Timothy of old and many others like Joseph, David, Moses, and the three Hebrew children, Samuel, Elijah, Elisha, and many others. Also in the New Testament, John the Baptist, Jesus Christ, 
and Jesus Christ, our Lord and personal Savior, and his apostles, all of them were resourceful men and women and youth. Praise the Lord. But they were filled with the Spirit of God. They became a blessing to our generation. Because of time, I'm not going to read these scriptures. We can be resourceful to all by being humble, learn, and know the Lord. Brethren, when you go home today, tonight, read First Timothy chapter 4, verse 12 to 16. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 11 to 12. When we learn of him, a thought of the Lord, I mean to live a life in righteousness, in humility, in love, in fear of God, in faithfulness. My friend, you shall be a blessing to your generation in Jesus' name. Remember, praise the Lord. Humility is very essential. Is it sometimes I became worried and bothered when I see the youth when they come to service, I see them going up and down. I begin to wonder, when will they have time to be learn and to meditate and to increase with the increase of God? I became worried. Any youth that want to be great must not allow any how life. You must listen, you must be taught, and you must increase with the increase of God. That's when you have bright future. That's why for any youth to be a resource, he must be humble. He must be obedient. He must be faithful. He or she must fear the Lord and depart from all evil. He must love, love righteousness and love the things of God. If any youth must be instrument in the hand of God, must be a blessing to others. That youth must maintain purity inside and outside. In fact, such youth will be hot merchandise in anywhere of employment or trust and anywhere that people are required. They say, give me somebody that fear the Lord. Give me somebody that can be of help to me. Because think about Joseph. When Joseph landed in the house of Potiphar, he was a blessing to who? Answer me. Why? He was a righteous person. He was humble. He was faithful. He was not a careless person. He was an obedient person. He feared God. He doesn't compromise his life. And therefore, he became a blessing to who? Potiphar. A blessing to Pharaoh. A blessing to Israelites. How I pray. You will be a humble and faithful chosen and be in the Lord so that the Lord will fill you with resources so you can become a blessing to all in Jesus' name. Can I hear you say amen? I don't have time. I look at the message here. We need time. Look at Proverbs 22 verse 4. Let's read something there. Proverbs 22 verse 4. Please look at the Bible. Proverbs Chapter 22, verse 4. By humility and fear of the law are what? Please, quickly. Quick, what is it? What follows? By humility and fear of the law, what happened? Are riches and honor and life. Therefore, I pray that the, cho the choosing youth and all the youth that are here you will fear the Lord, you'll be humble, so that you'll be filled with riches and honor and life. Let us not be like you that are outside there, that behave anyhow, drink and smoke and steal and join court. Let us not be youth that are careless and live carefree life. And are carrying, um, um, you know, handset and, uh, you know, their, uh, their tabs. Every time, just, you know, um, you know Yahoo, Yahoo boy, what do you call them? And, and have nothing to write to them about themselves. They come to church. You see them carrying their laptop. And not that they are reading the Bible. They are just, you know, trying to do Yahoo, Yahoo in the church. 
such youth end up in what? Vanity. They end up in what? Vanity. They live a useless life. They can't be a blessing to their family. Some of them smoke in their hem, cocaine, and they want to be a resourceful youth. My friend, listen to me. I don't have time. I thought I would have time to talk to you, but I can see the night fast approaching. Brethren, listen to me. You see some youth, they will leave their beers. They will babble their, they'll leave it here, and, and they want to be like, a, what do you call it, Afa. Some of them will wear shorts and wear big, big uh, jeans. Some with a tattered dress. And they want to be a blessing and a resourceful youth. And they want people to trust them and to work with them. It was not like Joseph of old. He fears God and humble and tremble and receive revelations and visions and dreams and interpretation from God because he was living a holy life. Praise the Lord. If any youth want to be something, when you come to service, listening to preaching, stop going up and down, eating and drinking poison on the road. Do you know that these youth are selling outside there? Many of them are selling poison. Many of them are selling contaminating things. As soon as you eat it, you will not understand what they've been taught in the church. They will initiate you. You don't need, when you come to church, stop eating those things. Stop going outside and buy. Before you know it, you will say you are sold. Come and be quiet and listen and be humble. And then use your Bible. Keep your mobile phone. Keep the, what do you call it, the, the laptop. Don't look into them. Stop using them. You use them for something that is necessary in your study. Not to do, you know, to look for foolish pictures and evil things. God forbid. My prayer is that we shall have Joseph and David here. Yeah. We shall have Timothy. We shall have the young Jesus. We shall have faithful men and women and Paul the apostle. We are men that do exploit. Men that do resourceful youth. That if any man, if any man employ you in his organization, the man will be rejoicing. That I have one of the good. I have the resourceful youth here. I have the choosing youth here. Praise the Lord. Listen. Let us become humble by humility our riches, life, and what? Honor. Oh, praise the Lord. I pray that you are leaving this program a resource for you. Take note, when we are in the Lord, we are bound to be resourceful youth because in him we have all things. In him we can do all things. And in him we shall have all sufficiency as we have seen. Remember, Jesus Christ our Lord, he was with the Father. The Father was with him always. Look at John chapter 8 verse 29, please. John chapter 8 verse 29, chapter 8 verse 29. Please open your Bible. And I will round it up because of time. John chapter 8, verse 29. Chapter 8 and verse 29. And he that sent me is with me. The Father has not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. When he do, went about doing what pleases God, God was always with him. And he became what? A resources. Praise the Lord. God made him war. A resourceful person. Look at the Bible. In, please look at the Bible. In Matthew chapter 11, 27. Matthew chapter 11, 27. Chapter 11, 27. Look at the Bible. And it reads, All things are delivered unto me of my Father. How many things? All things, because he was a faithful son. 
and he is a faithful son, obedient to the father, and the father gave him how many things? All things. If you are obedient and faithful to God, God will give you all things. No wonder he invited him and said, come unto me. All you that labor and heavy and I will give you all rest. You have something to give because you have become what? A resourceful youth. Also, the apostles, as I've seen, Paul the apostles said, I have all and I'm bound, but my God shall supply all your needs. And he said, I can do all things through Christ that straight. And he said, by the grace of God, I got into first Corinthians chapter 15, verse 10. I am what I am. You see you today. The grace of God will abound your life. It will make you great. Greater than others in Jesus' name. You shall become a resource. So only in him we can become a resourceful youth to all. And as we give our life totally to him and ask for all that it takes to be a resourceful youth, it shall be given to us in Jesus' name. Don't forget, in the book of Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, who wants to be a resourceful youth? He said, ask, it shall be given to you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall open to you. For everyone that asketh, receive it. Oh, yeah. Rise up now. Research for you. Rise up now and pray. And tell the Lord, make me a research for you. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. Make me. Make me. For you are God that makes a life. And you are God that make a man every with hope. You are God that make it all things. Make me a resourceful youth. Everybody pray. Everybody, everybody. Open your mouth and pray. Everybody pray. Make me a resourceful youth. Everybody pray. Call upon him. Let Capirus in Jericho praise Ovana. Razangelu Vikataya Maraca. Ru Vika Zijeli Camprescovana. Mana Camperus Kitera. Gelu Via Caruzian Domi Campre. Mescovana Rascangeli Compres de Kundu. Mondia Caperusia. Ranga Yamazuvia Cataya Maruskite. Gelu Via Caruskitena. Make me a resource for you, O Lord. Everybody pray. Call upon him, call upon him. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. Oh Lord, walk on me. Walk on me. Walk on me. Walk on me. Make me perfect and make me holy. Make me a resourceful youth. Lord, Kavaka, Siko, Vaka, Siko, Zal, Jelubana, Karus, Angelia, Mana, Kassanda, Rabba, Kassi, Ruboko, Jelubia, Maruski, Teni, Compre, Romana, Karus, Jeni, Compre, everybody pray. Make me a resource of youth. Walk on me, advance me, empower me, advance you, Luma, Rakaila, Zigenia, Mendoz, Kavia, Marus, Candenia, Lord, I pray, walk on your people, transform your people, build your people, Paras, Nijeli, Marus, and Jenny, come pray, everybody pray. Everybody pray, everybody pray. Everybody pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, take me. Take me to do what you like. I give you my soul to do what you like. Take me and take me. Take me and take me to do what you like. I give you my soul to do what you like. 
Take me and take me because you want your life. I give you my soul to do what you like. Take me and take me to do what you like. To do what you like. Take me and take me to do what you like. Now, today is a day of making many people resourceful youth. Now, if you have prayed that prayer, that today you want to become a resourceful youth, a resources to others, keep your hands off. Daddy, this is a great day. A day kings and presidents and rulers are made. A day, billionaires, directors, and chairmen are made. A day, oh God, David and Sansons and Elijahs and the Elijahs are made. Rakataya Maraka, Ruboko Chiko Kochi Kayama, Zeluvia Maras Katenia, Razangeno Mikatayuria, Menos Kateni Mahu Kataya. Oh God! As these ones have made a request to make them the Joseph and David of our day, the Samuel and David of our day, the Joshua and Caleb of our day, Father, I pray, let that empowerment come upon them in Jesus' name. Skivia Kazia, Rava Kazanjenia, Menos Kataya, Manakata, Saluvia Maruskite, have your way. From today, make each and every one resources, oh God, resourceful youth by your power in Jesus' name. Feel, 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 feel them. Hey, the door of heaven is open. Yes, great people shall be made now. Father, glorify your name. Glorify your name. Glorify your name. Glorify your son, Jesus. Samana Kayama Zaluvia, Les Angelu Vanazande Lico Prescovana, Les Coviama Ruskitania, Jeluzendo Mica Prescovana, Rosen Jenny Campre. Something is happening now, something great. The heaven has come down. The glory of the God whom I saw, I feel the place. The place is filled with glory and power and power. Glory and power. Zeluva, Zeluvia, Mana, 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 Kayama, Zuvia, Rosen, Zeluvia, Maruskite, Lord, take over. Great ministers. Great apostles, great prophets, great evangelists, mighty intercessors. Lord Akaz Luviana, Manakaya, Manakaya, Zaluviana Ruskitena. Lord champions, champions, winners, overcomers in the faith, Ruskitena. Lord blessing that generation, blessing that generation, bless our church, Ruskaduviaka. Lord make them. Luciana, Campres in Viambana, Campres Kufakata, 
Jerusalem to me can praise governor. Lord, I paralyze every action, every evil forces of power. Taking advantage, I paralyze the cast of in Jesus' name. My daddy, bless me this youth. Feed them with the Holy Ghost. Feed them with power. Feed them with the resources of heaven. Feed them with the great vision and revelations and prophecies and power in Jesus' name. From today, from today onward, you will see visions. You will dream good dreams. You will prophesy. You will be a mighty hand instrument in the hands of God in signs and wonders in teaching the ministration of the word of God in Jesus' name. In your academic, from today, I command that your brain shall become a resource. You will teach your lecturers. You will help others. In your family, in the society, in the church, you shall be a blessing in Jesus' name. My daddy, from today, I declare everyone here today a resourceful person. Resourceful youth. Resourceful person in Jesus' name. Every pain in that neck, I can't so be healed. That eyes problem be healed. That bleeding be healed. That can pneumonia be cancer be healed. That kidney complication be healed. My daddy, I break the yoke of delay in marriage for somebody. I break the yoke of delay in conception for somebody. Father, make this one great in Jesus' name. I declare employment and favor and connection. I declare scholarship. I declare blessings in Jesus' name. And I pray for everyone that is in attendance. The power that changes situation will rest upon you from today. Say amen. Say amen. Daddy, by your authority, I pray for empowerment. To make this one great in this society and oncoming generation in Jesus' name. That had problem, I cancel it, let it be here. And I cancel that poverty in a family in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I pray for somebody here, favor from today, favor, 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 follow you in Jesus' name. Can I hear you say amen? Or you have mentioned that problem that follow you here. So I can send it away forever by the authority in the name of Jesus. Mention that problem. Father, glorify your name. Receive an ask and you. Muravra Krasa Luva Kasaya. Lomina Ruski Genia. In Jesus' name, we oh pray. I have for three for vision and ten billion commanded. I will prohibit of vision and ten billion commanded. We have for three for vision and ten billion commanded. Now that day, 
the God of all spirits. All the problems they have mentioned here that follow them over the years, I cancel those problems. I send those problems packing from their life and their family, from their generations in Jesus' name. Ye the sick, deliver the prayers, provide for the poor, fight the battle. Father, I pray that make them academic excellence. Let it be the portion in Jesus' name. That they, wherever they go, let them be a resources. A resources. Let them become a resourceful youth and generation in Jesus' name. That person whose parents have been sick, I cancel that sickness. I cancel that typhoid, fever, malaria, parasite. I cancel coronavirus in Jesus' name. That pain you are raised, your lower abdomen be cancelled. Those rashes and scratches be cancelled. I command that pneumonia be healed in Jesus' name. That abnormal growth and that infection in the body be cancelled, be healed in Jesus' name. My that day, I command that growth in the body of somebody, that breast lump, I command to vanish away in Jesus' name. My that, that cup was be cancelled. I pray that the problem they brought here, we never follow them home in Jesus' name. By your authority, I set them free. That person was stammering tongue, I lose you. We don't speak plain in Jesus' name. Now, any person that is not walking, rise up now and walk in Jesus' name. The phantom by cancer, I command your ear, be loose, your mouth be open in Jesus' name. And I cancel blindness, glaucoma, cataract, be canceled in Jesus' name. Madness and loss of memory, be canceled, be free in Jesus' name. Precious daddy, the bed waiting, I cancel it. Be free in Jesus' name. The mouth, also, stomach, also be canceled, be healed in Jesus' name. Father, whatsoever the problem they brought here, I declare them free. And I pray, oh righteous Father, today, tomorrow, let there be great impartation from above in Jesus' name. Can I hear you say amen? amen. Say it again. Or you stretch your hand up. Maruzi. Oh Lord, these hands that are lifted up. I command anointing that break all yokes. Anointing for miracles, signs, and wonders upon it. In Jesus' name. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Let the power of God come upon it. Keep it up. Power that changes situation. Power. 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 Electrifying power. Power. Deliverance power. Anointing power. Healing power. Miracle power. Come upon that hands. Come. Come. As that power comes upon that, can you wave that hands? Oh yeah, tap it wherever you have any problem. About three times only. One, two, three. You are free. Can I hear you say amen? Somebody here that doesn't sleep, you will sleep like a baby tonight in Jesus' name. It is over.